there, and welcome to Meet the Leaders. I'm David Smith. Good to have you along with us today. It's a very interesting time in Hartford, no question about it, as we get toward the close of the session, or what's hoped to be the close of the session anyway. And it's great to have from the 150th uh, District representing Greenwich, we've got uh, Mike Pacino, a re representative with us here on this edition of Meet the Leaders. Good to see you, Mike. How Good are you? Good to see you. Always a pleasure. Uh, you know, it, it, is, it is great to see you, and, and, and in this case, this year, things are rather dramatically different in the makeup of the legislature, which means that the talk of the budget is somewhat different this yeah. year than has been. Now, of course, uh, you know, with, with the party lines uh, uh, as close as they are right now, we're, we're split evenly in the Senate and in the House, we're seven seats down. So um, w every vote counts, every uh, uh, attendance by all of the representative counts, and it's given us um, a, a lot more here, you know, more, a lot more uh, say in the budget process and are the ideas as well to, to uh, get those to be negotiated at the table. Well, you know, every year it, it happens, uh, or has happened, that the Republicans say we're, we're not being considered, we're not even at the table, anything like that. Clearly this year is different, in spite of the fact that the problems this year are not different. No, exactly. We've had, we've had eight years of, of the same decline, um, no real uh, uh, bright light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. And I think the people of the state of Connecticut have finally realized that, you know what, you need to listen to what the Republicans are saying. They've got some good ideas. They've got real um, uh, vision for where we need to be to create a stable economy, not just a patchwork. So um, I think things are going to uh, really change for the better in the, in the coming weeks. What is it that the Republicans are, are able to offer realistically that is so different than what the Democrats have been putting forth? I think the biggest thing right now, to be quite frank, is the fact that we're looking at this as um, we need to stabilize the state of Connecticut. We don't need to just to, to make cuts here so that we can balance a budget. We need to really take a look at the entire um, economic future of the state of Connecticut and realize that the foundation of, of the principles of what, where we stand are just cracked and they're crumbling right around around us and until we make those structural changes until we make until we say enough with the spending enough with uh, the overtaxing we we're going to have uh, uh, an unstable groundwork to lay foundation for a new path to prosperity so in that regard um, i think where the point where we're coming from is we need to fix the things, um, structural changes right now so that we can create this good stable footing so that we can then implement some real good economic changes for the state of Connecticut.